Um, how do you, I mean, you know, I don't want to ask like a stupid question, but how do you guys pick up pieces after such a, a disappointing um, end to the season? Um, I mean, the bad news is we'll have plenty of time to do that again, um, which is obviously frustrating. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to kind of digest that quickly, I guess. We got home at four o'clock this morning and um, so it's, yeah, I mean, it's obviously during the series, I think we played well at times and obviously some times that we, we didn't play well. Um, I guess at the end of the day and <clears throat> the ultimate question or answer like you if you're not the last team standing you've got to find things to improve and get better so um we've got to figure out ways that we can get better um however that is that's um not my job unfortunately well probably fortunately actually um so yeah like if you if you're not that last team and you're not holding the trophy there's, there's always something you can do so we, we got to figure those things out um the guys that are here um signed or, or whatever um we can be a part of it and then whatever the the changes or, or additions or whatever are so um yeah see what happens but um yeah i don't really have a great answer for you right now to be honest eric walden salt lake tribune joe can you kind of just take us through like what your emotions were last night as as you know the game was unfolding and the lead was kind of slipping away and, and the Clippers were making their comeback, just kind of what was in your mindset in those final few moments of the game? Um, I mean, that last kind of minute or however many, however much time when you kind of know um, it's kind of over. Um, I mean, a lot of different things. Um, obviously, frustration, probably one of the main ones when you, like I said, we uh, I think we played really well in some of the games and some of the quarters or whatever for this series. Um, we obviously, like I said, played, played bad or, or not up to our standard as well. So, um, yeah, a lot of frustration, obviously. Um, like me personally, like when you're not out there too, like you want to, you want to be out there, you want to help, um, you want to know what you can do um, to help more. Um, obviously every individual is probably thinking that. Um, because at the end of the day, we we want to win. We want to be the last team standing. And um, we all, like I said before, we've all got to figure out ways that we can get better so that we can be that team. Um, but yeah, just a lot of, I mean, there's a, a few proud moments too, like when you kind of do take a second to think about it, but it's hard to even think about those things when um, obviously we thought and believed we had a team that, that could, could match it with anyone and, and beat anyone. Um, and we didn't fulfill the goals that, that we had. So um, when you have goals like that, almost, if, like I said, if you're not holding the trophy at the end, it's, a, it's almost a, a bit of a failure. So um, we'll uh, I have no doubt we'll, we'll kind of regroup, get back together and, and figure those things out and, um, yeah, see what's next. But it's a, it's a long way away. Sarah Todd, Deseret News. Joe, when you've got a guy like Mike who was so integral to your guys' success this season and, you know, he's entering free agency, do you pitch to him to stay or do, are you a part of that at all? I mean, not maybe not an official capacity, but do you, like, try to get him to stay? I mean, I'll do everything in my power to, to make that happen. Um, obviously, everyone individually has their own decisions, um, families, friends, agents, like whatever that is. Um, they, they go into that kind of core group decision of, of where you want to play, where you're happy, family's happy. Like there's a lot that goes into it. Um, the basketball side of things, I think obviously this year and um, from his first year to second year, I think it was like this year was the mic we, we all know and, and saw for 13 years before that. I think obviously the frustration last year of the injuries and the, that this the change of system, like I said, of, of being somewhere for 12, 13 years. Um, yeah, I mean, I was talking to him last night already a little bit about it, hoping that uh, I could get some answer out of him. Um, but again, even that, I mean, it's so it's so far. I don't actually even know when it starts, all that stuff, but it's I think it's so far away. Um, yeah, again, like I said, I'll I'll do everything in my power, 
whether I uh, have to FaceTime him or fly to his uh, mansion in Ohio and have lunch with him or something, whatever it is, I will try. Cause, I mean, I think everyone everyone saw the impact that he had within our group, oh, on and off the court, within the even when he was injured, the the, the conversations and the, the talks and, and all that. So, um, yeah, I hope he comes back. Our kids are in the same uh, class as well. So my daughter would be upset if Miles isn't in that class. Next up, Ben Anderson, KSLSports.com. Joe, does every last game of the season, do they feel the same, you know, when it feels like it's it's winding down and it's getting away from you? Does it feel like they all end the same or does it all feel different? Um, I honestly feel like this year felt probably, for me, felt the worst out of any of them for, like, the finishing finishing of the season kind of thing. Um, like I said, I think after last year, I think we, we learn a lot from – that Denver series and, and just the, the year in general, I guess, but but that Denver series and, and what you don't want to do and you don't want to be home and you don't want to – all those things. And um, obviously to, to play the way we did for 72 whatever games and then um, kind of battle through that Memphis series with with a, obviously a really good young team, um, we, we just felt like – not necessarily like this this was the year, quote unquote, but we just felt like we had a team, like I said, that we could we could beat anyone on on any night. And and when we when we played our way and, and we're locked in and like oh you can go down a list of like the, the good things or bad things. When we were doing the things that we knew worked for us, we were a really good team. Um, and there was obviously times that that we didn't play that way. Um, and it's frustrating because you know you know the flip side, what you got, what, what we can do when we we are playing the, the way that we wanted to play, um, like we did for, for a lot of this year. So, um, yeah, this one for me, like in my seven years, has probably hurt the most. Um, even kind of getting up this morning and um, talk, just talking to Renee a little bit about it, just like you, it's almost still a little bit shocking that it's over, to be honest. Like, uh, it's still not a almost a realistic thing. Um, I feel like we'll be, we should be at the practice getting ready for a game tomorrow. So um, yeah, this one, this one's definitely hurt the most. Um, you kind of feel it the most, but um, yeah, we, we've, like I said, we've got to figure out ways to get better and um, hopefully we, we do that this off season and, and come back next year and, and, and give it another crack. Dana Green, ABC4. Joe, you say obviously you don't make the decisions, but in your opinion, what 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 is this team lacking? What does this team need to raise that trophy? Oh, you got me on three hours sleep and um, however many. Um, oh, I don't, I don't even know right now. I mean, there's obviously we've got a good core of guys that have have kind of been here or, or come back with with Fave and stuff and JC resigning. Um, like I, I mean, I don't. <laughs> When I say, obviously, we weren't the last team standing, like, I don't think there's massive, like, I don't think we need to blow the whole roster up and, and start from scratch. But um, I don't know, yeah, finding a, a, a couple key pieces. Um, I mean, you could look at any position, I guess, really. It's not like the, um, there's one guy or something that you're trying to, and, and, and a part of that too is free agency. Like, Mike and, and George, and I'm not sure who else is um, like actually free or, or whatever, um, restricted, whatever the rules are. But um, uh, I think just just kind of circling the, the board and figuring out what, what player or, or whoever it is could, can make us better um, or could help us or um, take us another step, which is obviously, again, the, the ultimate goal is to, to be the last team standing. So if there's... There's someone out there that can do that. Um, obviously, you've got to leave every every stone unturned and, and try and figure figure all that out. But um, I mean, twelve hours after the game, I don't have a great a great answer for specifics. But um, like I said, yeah, when you there's always something you can do. Um, I mean, the the Lakers won it last year and changed a lot of their roster. They're, like, there's always something you can do. So um, yeah, they'll. Uh, the guys that get the big bucks will figure that out. Naira Campbell, utahjazz.com. 
Hey, Joe. Um, I know you're on three hours of sleep, but um, if you could tell me what are you most proud of uh, from the season, both individually and then as a team? Um, I mean, the team stuff, obviously the, the way I think we, we kind of had the focus all year, but like I said, from that, sitting in that locker room in the bubble after the Denver series, um, you could just look around and tell that the guys didn't want that feeling again. And obviously it's pretty silly me saying that because we, we literally had it not long ago, but just, just the motivation and the focus throughout the regular season to put ourselves in, in a position to one, have the best record, which is like a, a small achievement in itself. Um, obviously once you get to the playoffs, it doesn't mean a whole lot except um, home court throughout the playoffs. Um, so yeah, just, there, there was a lot of, I mean, we went, we went through some stuff obviously too. There's, there was a few injuries and, and obviously at the end of the year and, and guys stepping up um, to, to play different roles at different times. So, um, I mean, I, I love our group. I love the guys on our team um, in terms of a, a group of guys. Um, it'll never come close to my Aussie teammates, but it's, it's right up there with, with those guys. Like it's, it's such a fun group to be around and, um, JC winning six man, Rudy winning his award, um, all those, all those things um, are amazing. Mike being a first time All Star, like things like that, I'll, I'll always remember and, and glad that I was a part of of that little kind of story for them. Um, individually, um, I don't even know really. Um, I mean, I, I like the fact that I can look after myself enough to, to be out there as often as I can for the team. I'm always, it's always something that I've, I've taken pride in um, to, to be available for, for my team, whether that be playing or not playing much or whatever the rotation is, um, starting if I have to come off the bench. So, um, yeah, just, I guess, that, that just continuously trying to kind of get better, trying to help in, in any way possible. Um, again, I'll, I'll go back in the off season. Um, obviously I've got Australian commitments starting here in a few hours, um, but yeah, go back and, and watch some tape and figure it out and, and see what I can do to, to be better next year and help. And, um, if it's a, a different role, whatever it is, just, just keep trying to be as, as good as I can for, for our team to win as many games as possible. Tim Reynolds, AP. Thank you. Um, Joe, you just mentioned it, that your Australian commitment starts in a few hours, slightly tongue in cheek, but not really, I guess. No, I just um, got a text from the assistant coach just then, actually. So. <laughs> That's not good. How, um, for guys like you, for guys like Rudy, for Donovan, if he chooses to play, I, I know you'd rather be playing a game seven tomorrow, obviously, it goes without saying, but the fact that you do have something to look forward to pretty quickly here, does Soften the blow isn't really the right word, but how much does that help as you try to move on to the next thing that you do have a chance to do something pretty special in Paris here in a few weeks? Yeah. Uh, uh, in, I mean, in Tokyo, I'm sorry. Tokyo, I was going to say, I hope they haven't changed it because I booked my accommodation in uh, Tokyo. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, like you said, like I, I, I mean, I'll remember this and be thinking about this for probably even during camp, but um, to be able to, I think we start here on the, the 24th or something, um, which I was hoping to not be a part of. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's like, I'm going to, it's hard to almost think about the boomer stuff right now. Like, I obviously just got home last night early and trying to spend the day with the kids until you guys uh, ruined 15 minutes of my day. Um, but, yeah, I just want to, kind of take a step back and enjoy these few days with the kids. And um, I mean, I'm home for like six days in the next seven weeks or something like that, um, including this part. And then a few days after this first camp, and then I'm, I'm off to Vegas and Tokyo for, for what, how, four or five weeks. So trying to enjoy this few days here with, with my family, but even when we get into camp, obviously still going to be in contact with, with the jazz guys and, and, coach and stuff like that and Bailey who's who's my coach and um things are going to come up things are going to be remembered and, and we're going to talk about like things are still going to be talked about up until we get back together whether we see each other much or not um 
once I get there on the 24th, um, I think it'll change a little bit because I will be so focused on the the goal of, of trying to win a gold medal um, for Australia, which we've, we've never done, or we're trying to win a medal full stop, which we've never done. Um, and that's something that's been a goal of mine since I made Beijing Olympics in 2008. Um, and we, we haven't been able to do it in, in a World Cup or Olympics. And something that, that our older core of, of Paddy and Baines and Delhi and um, that group that's been together for a little while, it's, something, it's been a goal of ours since, since we started. Um, so I'll, I'll, I will start to focus on that. I think that'll help not having to think about the chat stuff a lot because I will be busy with, with, with the boomers. But, um, yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll always come up. Um, I mean, my teammates, when I get to LA for, for camp, uh, are going to bring it up. We're going to talk about basketball. It's what we do. Uh, it's what we all do. So, um, yeah, it'll, it'll suck bringing it up, but um, I'll use that and, and the boomers never meddling um, as motivation to, to hopefully come home with a medal after Tokyo. Okay, last question. David James, KUTV. Joe, in past years, you've worked on different aspects of your game, going right, changing that release point on your shot. What, what is the goal for this offseason? Um, <laughs> win a gold medal in Tokyo first. Um, I mean, that's, I guess that's it. I mean, it's a part of it a little bit because I'm not going to have a lot of individual time this year, um, really until we get back um, post Tokyo, um, which won't be long. Um, I don't know exactly what the, the dates are, but I'm pretty sure we'll be into training camp pretty soon after that. Um, but again, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll sit with coach or probably speak to coach. Um, I'll, I'll probably try and sit down with him before I take off here um, for, for the boomer stuff. But um, yeah, put a plan together. We, we've got assistant coaches in, in the boomers that'll, that'll help me work on stuff. And, and it will, I mean, it, it'll really begin in, four or five days here, which I'm, I'm excited about. Um, like I said, I'm going to enjoy this first few days to, to enjoy my, my family and, and, and the kids and Renee. And then, um, yeah, sit down with coach at some point um, before I leave or, or on the phone. And again, I'll speak to, to Bailey um, throughout this whole thing and, and just keep finding things that I can get better at, um, things that uh, I can get more efficient at, um, whatever it may be. Um, I don't have an exact pinpoint of like what that will be, but there's obviously always something. Um, and myself personally, I kind of take pride in, in that, trying to find something that I, I haven't been good at and, and try and be better at it. Um, so no doubt in my mind that I'll, I'll come back better. Um, it's what I've done every year since I've been over here. Um, so I'm confident that it, it, I can come back and be better and, and again, help the team in, in whatever that may be. Um, yeah, to have a, Specific answer, I don't really have that, but, but then obviously no doubt there's some stuff and I'll, I'll figure that out and um, come back better next year and hopefully with a medal around my neck. All right, that's it. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate you taking the time. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Don't speak to me 